What's up, party people? My name is Daryl Wilson, and welcome back to Deals with Daryl. Today in this episode, I'm going to give you seven different ways on how to make recurring revenue with WordPress and also being a web designer. Now, many beginners make this mistake of not offering additional services when they are building websites for their clients. I'll be showing you how you can generate at least another $500 a month from your clients using the same methods that I did in my web design career. So you ready? Let's go. Number one, web hosting. When you get clients for web design, many people want to know whether you should have it hosted with their web provider or you should have it hosted yourself. Personally, I like the idea of having it hosted yourself, giving you a lot more control and flexibility over your clients. This same strategy will lead another way in how to make money later, but self-hosted web hosting gives it the ability to make changes and also charge a decent price like $25 to $100 a month while maintaining their website. While that does seem high, remember, we are monitoring their website for any server issues they might have. What if the client already has web hosting? Personally, I would rather not work with the client if they're not willing to help me host it because I'll have to do a lot of running around trying to find their website credentials. And sometimes the web hosting companies just won't give me access, which leaves me in a very awkward spot and a lot of problems down the road. So when you're building websites, make sure it's self-hosted. And if there's no other way around it, always give them an affiliate link to another web hosting company that you trust in order to get as much revenue as possible from your clients. Number two is important. And I think everyone out there has to offer this for their clients because you're all using WordPress, which is WordPress maintenance packages. Maintenance plans are the biggest gold mines in regards to recurring revenue with WordPress. Remember, your clients are busy people and just want the security of their website at all times. And they don't really care about pricing too much, at least some of them. I would charge somewhere around $300 a month to maintain and secure the website, but for larger websites, I would have to raise this depending on the scope of the project, especially for e-commerce. You also need to inform your clients that you are using WordPress and their site will eventually break if there are no updates to it and it's not maintained. Most beginners make this problem because they leave their clients with the website, but rest assured the website will break over time if there are no updates to it. So always make sure you offer a maintenance package and inform them that you are using WordPress. So when I first got started, I just built the website and left them. And sure enough, I would get a call three months later saying, hey, Daryl, my website looks really funny. And that's because something updated and it wasn't compatible with something. So again, always make sure you have a maintenance package for your clients. Number three is very important. You should always offer this, which is SEO packages. So you made the website, congratulations. Now you need to offer SEO plans, which can help you generate more recurring revenue from your clients. The best way to go about that is informing them that the website looks great, but to be found on all major search engines, you'll need to do some SEO work, which can take a few months. Try outsourcing the SEO work because it can be a real hassle trying to manage the website and also doing SEO work yourself. I would personally tackle on another $200 a month to SEO packages when I outsourced it. For example, if my SEO guy charges $200 a month, I would then charge the clients around $400 a month. Remember this, anywhere the client goes, the SEO companies will charge more because they have more overhead. So use your advantage as a freelancer and offer a discount. And remember, sometimes you need to sell your clients. So use words like drive traffic, optimization, or easily search on Google. So that's just a thought. Remember, your clients don't really know any better. So they're just looking for a good price and don't take anything personal if they say, oh, that's expensive. Don't take anything personal. Just say, okay, go, go shop around if that's too expensive for you. Chances are they'll probably come right back. Number four is a very important one. In fact, my dad actually got this for his roofing business, which is content writing services. This one's a little harder, but sometimes work. Writing content for your website displays, quote, a life presence, not just for social aspects, but for anyone visiting the website. Let the client know that you can hire a full-time content writer to write amazing content that's professionally trained in their niche for around three to $500. Explain to the client that this will drive more traffic to the websites. It also makes your website look a lot more livelier. Plus the odds of them making a sale or getting clients will be increased by three to four times. So always consider this option when you're building websites for clients. Even yourself, when you go to websites and you don't see blogs updated for years, you kind of like saying, yeah, this website looks lame. But if there's a website with fresh content, you are more willing to participate with that website. So always make content writing an option. Number five, which I actually need for my Facebook group is social media marketing managers. Social media marketing sounds easy. Just make a post on Facebook and walk away, right? Not really. It's tedious and a lot of work and it can take a lot of time out of you. Offer to appoint a social media manager that can maintain posts, respond to comments, publish new content, and also comment on other companies in order to extract as much traffic as possible. You can always offer different pricing options like $100 a month for posting twice a week, $500 a month for posting four times a week, and so on and so forth, all while responding to comments and messages. At this point, you might want to make a partnership or connection with an outsourced partner that can do all the work for you. 
I personally outsource all of my SEO and detail coding work because it just takes too much of my time and is too expensive. So remember, don't be afraid to offer these services. A lot of these business owners, they have other stuff to do and they might need a social media marketing manager. Number six, which is a little creative, is offer a secondary service. Clients are nightmares. We've all noticed they're unprepared. They want to do everything the hard way, so let's sell them. Offer secondary services like logo design, photoshopping images, or even live chat agents. Be creative. I convinced one of my clients to hire a virtual agent because the client was never in the office and sometimes people needed to talk to someone. I charge $500 a month to oversee the entire project to make sure that the virtual agent was doing their job. I would outsource my logo design and Photoshop. I connected with two partners and just charged the client a little more to make a profit. There are services like ringcentral.com that offers professional phone numbers and also virtual agents that can deal with booking appointments and other customer support problems. So just remember, just because you would not get that service, other people might. So always be mindful and think of the different ways on how you can make more money with your clients. And number seven, which is a very underlooked one, is affiliate programs. So once your client lets you know the scope of the project, like features and the details, you can then list some products that they might need. You might want to join some affiliate programs so you can gain a commission for referring your clients. There are many web hosting companies that accept recurring purchases for affiliates and also theme companies. In fact, you can contact these companies directly and work out your own deal for a long-term business relationship. Just remember, just because it's not listed on their website does not mean the deal is not possible. Many of these deals are made with emails because if you are willing to bring a customer to a company, then that company will usually be happy to pay a referral fee. So just remember when you're building stuff for your clients and they might need something, you can always use your affiliate links and make them pay for it and then you can gain a commission from your clients. So make sure to apply every single one of these methods and don't be afraid. I think that's the biggest problem is people are intimidated and afraid. Oh, my client might not need it. Just offer it. They might need it. And it's just more money for you and your clients happier in the end. So I hope this video was helpful. Let me know in the comments if this video helped you. If you have any experience with packages or SEO plans, let me know in the comments below. Until then, I will see all of you party people in the next video. Guys, take it easy.